incredibly rough as well. Wow. Ah, it's really annoying actually. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. I think our beloved tent starts to break. The zip is giving up here. I hope we can fix it somehow. We have to clean it later out and see if we can repair it. Good morning world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 259 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Good morning, Bumblebee. We're here in the small town of Cerro Castillo in Chile just next to the border to Argentina. Yes, and we had a really good night here in our tent underneath this bus station. We actually had a little bit of a lion as well. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty sheltered from the wind and it had a cover at the top and it was actually really cozy. Very cozy, very nice. But let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and today we are going to be crossing over the border back into Argentina and following the route of 40 up and round to the town of El Calafate. Yes, today we'll be crossing the Chile-Argentina border for the fifth time so far on our trip. We've got some really, really cool mountain spots to check out on the Argentinian side, starting with the town of El Calafate, where we're heading today, which is just next to an amazing glacier called the Perito Moreno Glacier. So hopefully we can get to this town and then get over and see this glacier. So we have about 150 miles to cover, which is tarmac road and dirt road, and it's already 10 o'clock. So better hit the road, let's go. <sighs> Goodbye bus station. <laughs> Goodbye peaceful camp, shelter, <laughs> home. You know, I still didn't see any uh, any staff or anyone around. The whole place is just completely dead. Yeah, super crazy, hey? Feels like a ghost town here. Yeah, I mean, yesterday when we came in, I didn't see anyone around. No, I didn't see anyone around. Maybe it is like a ghost town. Very cool place, so what a location, hey? Wow, epic location for a town. Is the border here? Um, oh yes, maybe this is already the uh, border. Let me oh. park up and we'll see. <laughs> that was quicker than expected. Yeah, I did not realize that we were right in front of it. What? That's funny. Let's okay. go check it out. Rock and roll. So that was pretty easy. I gave them our passports to be stamped out of Chile. I gave them the temporary import permit that we got when we entered Chile and they took that back and gave me a little slip of paper to take over to the Argentinian side. So that's it, that's out of Chile. Back into Argentina, woo! Man, look at this surroundings here. Such a nice day as well, it's 18 degrees, wow. Yeah, I really like these um, remote border crossings, like the one we did, <coughs> the Diama border between Mauritania and Senegal. Here it is. Barrage de Diama, the border of Diama. And we have officially entered Senegal. Woo! It's just a, a different feeling when you go through a remote border and there's just little huts surrounded by the mountains and you're just like, everything's like nice and calm and hello, da da da. Yes. Whereas when you go through like major borders, they're like, next, oh, where are you going? Oh, wow, where's your hotel? Oh, da, da. <laughs> yeah, they have to deal with a lot of more people. Yeah, so if you get a chance when you're doing overlanding, you should always go for the small little remote borders. Even if you've got to take a dirt road, you will appreciate it. Bienvenidos a la República Argentina! All right, Argentinian formalities done. We've got our temporary import permit again. We're officially 
entering Argentina for the third or fourth time. Woo! Muchas gracias. Ciao. All right. I feel like having a mate now. <laughs> <laughs> so from here it says on the sign there it's 200 kilometers to El Calafate. I think um, we've got quite a bit of dirt road to do before we hook up with the larger road. So it should be a very nice and wild open ride today back in the Patagonian steppe. Super is 153, so it's a little bit more expensive. I hope it's open. <laughs> so look, look at this cute little fuel station. Wow. <coughs> oh yeah, the sign says open. There you go. Okay. <laughs> See if someone's around. Uh, mil, uh, mil peso. peso, mil peso, gracias. So that's a thousand, so it's like six liters. Gracias. gracias, muchas gracias. So now it says it's 99 miles, and we've got in the tank plenty, plenty, absolutely plenty. Yeah, look at all the stickers though in the, on the window. Yeah, we really, really, really have to get our own stickers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> such a cool petrol station, a cool place. <laughs> so from here, there's actually two ways to El Calafate. There's the main tarmac way going that way, which is about 150 miles, or we can save 50 miles by taking this little cut through dirt road. So we're gonna do that. Now we're dirt road pros. <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna try and see how we go. Yeah, don't say that too loud. Yeah. Maybe we have to turn around. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite rocky. Ooh. Big rocks. It is actually very, very rocky, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if we just stay on this line here. Yeah. Some flamingos over there as well. Some flamingos. Nice. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not the. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's not the greatest quality cut through, unfortunately. But uh, it's a pretty stunning place to ride through if I get a chance to look around. <laughs> <laughs> Which you don't? At you the have moment, to no. You have to concentrate on the road. Jesus, that's a bumpy road. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. I think actually, I think the line looks better. Okay. On the right. Let's try it. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So relaxing! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this rural cut through. <laughs> Road conditions are still pretty pretty bad. Very bumpy, very stony. Yeah, indeed. Thick bumpy stones. and stony. I hope that our tires We'll make it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, thank God we got that bash plate, eh? Yeah. Because we heard a lot of bonk, bonk, bonk <laughs> from some pretty large stones hitting it. Yes. Yeah, I'm really hoping that it doesn't stay this bad 
for the rest of the uh, 30 remaining miles. We just stopped to fly the drone, but it doesn't look very good. I think the road might have killed the drone. We had a problem like this before that the gimbal broke and I think it happened again. How is it? No. No? Oh no. No, the gimbal motor is dead. It's not, uh, it's not stabilizing. Such a shame. So that was a bit of a failure with the drone in the end. It looks like the gimbal motor is broken or the gimbal doesn't work. So basically the camera's just flopping around and uh, it doesn't work at all. Yeah, really, really, really sad. Yeah, we're going to have to get in touch with DJI and see what we can do about it. But um, luckily we have our backup Mavic Mini. Um, but we didn't use it in such a long time that actually the battery level just went down naturally over time. So when we started to fly it just then, it was already at about 40% battery. So we managed to get like one shot in. And then it was like, nope, I'm done. The Mini is a good backup, but it's not very strong it's like a really really yeah, mini drone <laughs> yeah yeah not really good in strong winds and no. it can't really fly very far and it can't like auto follow you and stuff so yeah so you're really really restricted with the mini yeah 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 definitely i guess that's the price you have to pay on these dirt roads things are starting to break down let's just hope the bumblebee's not breaking down <laughs> yes that's the main thing that's the most important yeah Incredibly rough as well. Wow. Wow, that was really rough. <clears throat> ah, it's really annoying actually. Now. Whew, Jesus. Just stopping here for a little lunch break before we join up with the uh, Route of 40 again. Yes. Hiding behind the bike because of the wind. So what have we got for lunch? Yes. So we had the one boiled egg and we mixed it up with uh, mayonnaise and some hot sauce. And then we have it in a, in a wrap. It's probably going to be pretty tasty. <laughs> Do you want some crackers in there as well? Yeah, maybe let's crumble some crackers yes. into there as well. Yes. We're just using like all the food that we've got left over and just sort of all chucking it together. So boiled egg, mayo, hot sauce, cracker wraps. <laughs> Job done. So it looks like we're coming back on the Ruta Nacional 40. Yo. That is the end of our dirt road. <laughs> so I think we'll just pump up our tires before we get back on. In the end, I'm not sure that that cut through was worth it. I hope we can organize a new drone. Yeah. Wow, we are just coming off of the step. Wow, look at this ahead. 
that looks actually unreal. Wow! What a view, hey? Absolutely incredible. Incredible. In the distance you can see again the snowy mountains. That's kind of where we're heading towards. You can just about see as well Lago Argentino, Lake Argentino, and all the crazy mountains behind. So first destination here in town is now that we check out the tourist information center that we can see and figure out how we can visit the glacier here. Yeah, that's pretty much what this town is famous for. It's the gateway to the Perito Moreno Glacier. And then after we will meet Glenn and Agnes again <laughs> because they took a bus this morning um, to El Calafate and they found a really nice and cheap accommodation actually on booking.com and yeah we can spend uh, the night together good evening guys we made it happy and alive <laughs> yeah and this accommodation that Glenn and Agnes found is absolutely awesome come check it out I will sleep here Ollie. Uh, we'll sleep here. Look at that. I mean, I'm sleeping in like a fold out drawer bed. Brilliant. <laughs> Kitchen. It's a little bit messy in here because we're kind of organizing, cleaning, and doing everything that we need to do. All of the maintenance on the road. I'm doing a washing machine at the moment. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> our socks and our underwear, everything needs to get a good wash. Yeah, absolutely. Bathroom. The shower is really nice too. <laughs> and then this is the room where the guy's sleeping. So very, very cool, very cool. Absolutely, and this one was like 40 pounds, 42 pounds for the place, split yes. between the four of us. That's really not too bad a yes. price. And look the view. We can see pretty much the entirety of El Calafate, we can see Lake Argentino and the mountains behind. It's an amazing view. It's super, super nice. That's it from us today. We did at the end 150 miles and we hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time.